Hey folks, and welcome back for more Let's Play Three Cards to Midnight. If you'll recall, the story to this point is... As the tarot reader helps Jess unlock new memories, she remembers going to Essex, Massachusetts, to meet with the P.I. Merriman, whose card she found at her parents' home, and to visit the place where she was born. At the hospital, there's no information about her birth or her real parents, but she does get a lead to a Dr. Giordano. The strange old man, who delivered babies at the hospital for many years, and now works part-time in a mental hospital, is more than helpful until Jess mentions the name of her real father, Devin Tellis, at which point the doctor seems disturbed and excuses himself. What does Dr. Giordano know about Tellis? Why won't he tell Jess what he knows? Jess decides to hire Merriman to help her find her parents. One flashback linked to Merriman seems to foreshadow a gruesome discovery in a motel room. In another, Merriman uncovers the shocking details and events that followed Jess's birth. First, she was a twin. Secondly, Jess's real father, Devin Tellis, confessed to murdering Jess's twin and attempting to kill her. The final shocker is that Ben Silloway was Devin Tellis' attorney. But that doesn't explain how Jess ended up with the Silloways. And what happened to Tellis? What about Jess's real mother, Celeste? Where has she been for the past 30 years? Where indeed, and all these questions? Well, you're probably not going to find any answers anytime soon, but hopefully we'll find something in Chapter 3. I think somehow, I always knew that I had a twin. I never felt, I don't know, complete. Twins can often have a unique, almost telepathic connection. You already know about all this, don't you? What I know isn't relevant. This is about you regaining your memory. So why have I lost my memory? It's called dissociative amnesia. The trigger is a traumatic or stressful event. The memory repression can go back hours, days, sometimes even longer. Why don't you just tell me what happened? Because I don't know what happened. What you've experienced is locked inside your mind. All we can do is keep digging. Hmm. So, we have three more cards to choose from. Chariot, the Star, and the Hanged Man. And once again, we will save the star for last. But, as always, we will begin with the far left side and the Chariot. The obvious interpretation of the chariot is physical movement or travel. It can also represent positive aspects of the ego, strength, assurance, assertiveness. It is backed by strong will and confidence. Victory is within your reach, but will you win the war or only the battle? I'm in a car. Vintage. Fifty years old at least. Must be Merriman's. So even though she didn't say much, our key words are window and top. Well, let's see. I've heard of a French window. And let's see. A stained glass window. And this little hula dancer figure has a sash. Window sash. Mm, hey look, here's a windowed envelope. And here's a lock. There are window locks, right? Let's see. Oh, and a puzzle's already popped up, huh? We'll take care of that at the end of all this. There's a table. A window table? Hey, that works for me. And let's see. What else? Oh, here's a shade. A lamp shade. For window shade. sure you want to know? Why would I hire you if I didn't want to know? Good point. You might want this anyway. Your birth father, Devin Tellis, he's not only alive, but he's living about 20 miles from here. Where, exactly? I've got to go see him. I don't know if he's allowed to have visitors. He's in the asylum. Oh, I mean the mental facility for the criminally insane has been for the past 30 years. I was just there yesterday. But you didn't know he was there. But Dr. Giordano should have told me. 
I asked specifically about Devin Tellis. Why wouldn't he tell me he was there? That is a very good question. What is Giordano hiding? Maybe we'll find out eventually. But for now, six more words to find. This table also happened to be under top, so hey. Well, let's see. There's a marble. Marble top counter, anyone, huh? Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, this little counter here. Countertop. Eh, what else do we got? Eh, not. Oh, hey, here's a coat. A top coat. Top sale? Yeah, top sale. And then top 40. Adrian Crawford. This is where he enters into the picture. Recognize this guy? No, should I? This is Adrian Crawford. The Adrian Crawford? Third richest man in the world. Hasn't been seen in public in a decade. That Adrian Crawford. What about him? Well, before he became a world-famous reclusive bazillionaire, he lived right here in little old Essex, Mass. And supposedly, he was friends with your parents. Which one? Both, possibly. But in this case, I'm referring to Devin and Celeste Tellus. So guess who ends up being Celeste's sugar daddy after Devin gets chucked in the loony bin? Hmm. The plot thickens with a new name, Adrian Crawford. Someone with enough money and influence to do quite a bit of damage. Anyway, let's take a look at our puzzle. In Merriman's car, I find an envelope containing what seem to be surveillance photos of places with a connection to my parents. Merriman's been busy. But then I realize that some of the photos that seem to be identical aren't. And I'm sure you understand what's going on here, but instructions. Click the 12 things that are different in the photo on the right. There are no hints for this puzzle. After five misses, you have to start over. No hints, oh no, what are we going to do? Except know what I'm doing. So, as in every spot the differences picture, and no, this isn't a screamer, so you don't need to duck and hide behind cover, but you find the differences. Now this car is a different color. This step is not over here. The plant is slightly different here. This light is not on over there. And this sign looks a little different. The latches are on the other side of this door. This light's not here. This isn't here. Or that's changed, I should say. We need four more, huh? No, there's something different about those birds. This little brick pattern is different over here. These windows are reverse colored. And there isn't this little... Uh, funky little pattern on this part of the wall. One of these photos must have been digitally altered, but why? I need to ask Merriman about it, but I'll wait till after he helps me track down my parents. Good plan. And now, that concludes the chariot card.